So all we're, do, all we're doing here, I'll just put some olive oil in, some herbs, we we'll put in parsley, basil and sage and oregano. So this basically you can get in the supermarket and it's a vegan mint. So in the UK, the best place to get it is actually Sainsbury's own one. It's really, really good. We're quite lucky here in Spain that we do have an Iceland. I can do quite good vegan vegetarian alternative. So just cook it all up. Also add a little bit of um, gravy as well. It really helps with making it more crispy. And like I said, just chop it up a little bit here, like that. So if your children are anything like my children, they tend to eat not a lot of chunky vegetables in their food. So I bought this little contraction here, and it actually cuts it up even more. So let me show you. As you can see, it just makes it go a little bit smaller and smaller and smaller. So I always boil through the garlic and olive oil first to some taste and then I'll add the peppers and the onion. So look how small those peppers are and now I'm just going to put them into the thing. Shake, 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 shake. Now it's time to chop, to chop up the peppers and onions. So I said the mushrooms. Usually I'd actually add the um, onions first. It does, I think it does taste better than it that way. But today is just a quick little rushy job just to share a quick recipe with you all. So now we're going to be doing the onions. This one's a bit more harder. I'm about to put some of in for this one. How chopped up those onions are. We'll put them in now, get a good shake. Shake, shake, shake. There's anything left in there, just grab a spoon and just scoop that out and give it a good stir. Now I'm doing the mushrooms. Hopefully once it's cooked, the kitchen is anyway, they're still getting the nutrients anyway. That's the secret. Oh, 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 oh. So I've done things when we get rid of the fact that literally some sort of vegetables in the you know, creative bolognese. Yeah, it's just the onions that we're going to be using for this one. However, I just thought by chopping it up as fine as possible, give it a good cook, you'll probably find that they won't be noticed. We'll see, we'll see. So I give it to the kids and see what they think. To be fair, my kids are quite good. They don't really eat this sort of food anyway. Raffi is a little bit of fussy pot. My daughter Mia is brilliant, but Raphael is another story. So it's going to be a test and a challenge on him. So let's see. So I've just added some sage, basil, parsley and oregano to our mixture and give it a stir. And then once I've added all the spices on herbs, shall I say, I've now added the vegetable mixture and the vegan mince together, as you can see. If you didn't want to actually add the vegan mince, you could actually add it with um, do it with brown lentils. Again, that's quite really, really nice. We can give it a good mix, mix it nice and browned off, like so. And then we're going to add some chopped tomatoes, like so. Give that a big mix. So just keep stirring, get all mixed in, stir, stir, stir. I 
And then I'm going to let it simmer for an extra 15 minutes. Let that vegan mince and the vegetables soak in all the flavour, the herbs, the tomato. Yummy, yummy. If you feel like it's not liquid enough, you can always add two tins of chopped tomato. That's again totally down to you what you want to do. Okay, so I've just put in the pasta as well. We've gone for wholemeal pasta. Spaghetti, not gluten free, but it is wholemeal. And then what we we'll do is we'll do a little test and we'll see what the kids think. Wish me luck. Oh, Bappy! Oh. Come on! Right, get down. Bappy, right, get down. like it because you've practically finished. Do you want some more baby girl? It could have a little bit more flavour but apart from that, it's flavour. <laughs> <laughs> not flavour. 